Welcome to the chapter 14 installment of Jeffrey Court University. My name is Mike. And I'm Allie, and we're gonna walk you through the elements that make up chapter 14, the press. Chapter 14 is a simple yet impactful line rich in historical inspiration that touches every major metropolitan area. To set the scene, think of newsrooms from the first half of the 20th century where the environment was chaotic, but the architecture and design was simple, clean, and fresh, just like the news coming off the press. The press has a twofold meaning. First, the 5 8 inch hex, which is the baseline facet of this collection, is reminiscent of a single dot of ink on a page like by a printing press. Additionally, the duotone patterns created utilizing the combinations of white, black, gray, and blue look very similar to a floret pattern. These are the patterns that can be seen when magnifying photographs replicated by the high-speed presses operated by publishers nationwide. Second, the names of the pattern mosaics found in this collection provide another clue as to their inspiration. They are Herald, Tribune, Daily, and Union. As these names may imply, there is no specific geographic region by which Chapter 14 drew its inspiration, but rather some common themes in the architectural and design elements found in thresholds, entryways, and floors of shops and businesses in most metropolitan areas during the early 1900s. This inspiration was then translated into a mosaic collection that can easily be adapted to floors, feature walls, and backsplashes. As mentioned, the 5 8 inch hex is the foundational element found in this collection. Unlike the ceramics generally used during the early 1900s, our hex is glass and is made using a pressing and firing technique similar to porcelain. The end result is a full-bodied colored glass with a frosted effect that adds a remarkable level of dimension to an installation. Its full body and durable press construction makes it suitable for floor or wall installations. There are four colors available for the press that stay in line with the printing and architectural elements found in buildings that house the newsrooms of a generation past. They are white, the cornerstone by which printing is brought to life, black, a traditional contrasting pairing to its white counterpart, gray, which is generally the half tone between black and white, and navy, which is our adaptation of the traditional reflex or cobalt blues found in early printing. Serving as a substitution to field tiles, the available solid mosaic sheets shown cover just over a square foot and are an excellent option for areas desiring solid coverage of any of the four colors offered. Complementing the four available colors in this collection are four repeating mosaic patterns. These amazing patterns are created using pairings of white and the remaining three colors offered in Chapter 14, gray, navy, and black. In total, there are 12 available pattern and color combinations offered. Generally speaking, there are two categories these patterns fall into, bold and subtle. Let's begin with our bold mosaic patterns, Herald and Union. These mosaics flourish in installations looking to headline an area with a point of emphasis. Herald creates a large circular repeating pattern highlighted by its emboldened, nearly calligraphic outlines. Union, in contrast to Herald, has taken a more geometric approach, creating visual interest utilizing outlined hexagons. Next up, we have our subtle mosaic patterns, Daily and Tribune. These mosaics really come alive in areas desiring a softer, more organic aesthetic. Daily is a simplified pattern whose focal points are the small floral patterns created by small seven-piece groupings of our 5 8 inch hexagon. Tribune creates a detailed chain floral pattern. Tribune is great for those still seeking a soft floral pattern or desire a bit more color. Installation of all Chapter 14 products should be set with a high-quality thin set. A professional grade wet saw outfitted with a blade made specifically for glass is recommended for cutting the mosaics found within this collection. As a good rule of thumb and practice during installation, care should be taken to lay out product prior to installation to ensure a proper, uniform look and the correct repetition of pattern mosaics. We also recommend the use of non-sanded grouts. While grouting, metallic tools should not be used in order to avoid scratching. Instead, use tools that are rubber, plastic, or some combination of polyurethane, rubber, or plastic to complete the grouting process. To learn more about Chapter 14, check out our website at jeffreycourt.com. And remember, you can ask questions you have about any of the products you see in these videos on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Thanks for visiting Jeffrey Court University. Now get out there and create an impression.